Okay, so the first feature I mentioned before in terms of the feature overview um, is the new drum editing feature. So Cubase previously had a few tools that enabled us to, to say move or analyze drum transients and move them around, but now, now we've got the all-encompassing uh, drum editing deluxe tool. Um, so if we have a look at my track here, now this is a track I recorded with my German colleague uh, Christoph Stefan last week. Now, the thing about us being in the studio together is neither one of us plays the drums or the bass. So it's basically a recording as you would record at home. So there's a drum set up with some drum microphones. Now, I don't want to highlight the fact that Christoph can't play in time here because he'll probably kill me. Probably will if he sees this anyway. But you can see from bar 31 there, we've got the introduction of some drums. So we've got your normal kick, snare, uh, hats, overheads, and also some, some racks. So if, if we just quickly play this, um, I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to open up the kick track, and you can have a look, and you can actually see that the kick track, sorry, the kick track, has a, a, the beat is just either before or after the beat uh, each time. So let's open that up and have a look at it. So you can see, you can see even there, from the very outset, that it's ahead of the beat. And if we go through, I mean, it's very close, but it's not quite perfect. And these days in the studio, basically, perfection is a requirement. Um, so, now I'm going to have a look at all these tracks. You can see I can just click on the drum track now, which will move all of that section of drums. So if I just move that back, and open up the first click track, you'll see the first new feature in our drum uh, editing suite here, the threshold. So as I move this down, you'll see there's a new way of actually detecting hit points or transients within Cubase. So I can move that the whole way down, and you can see it will pick up all the transients. But basically, I just want to get the kick, um, the kick beats that have, that have been played. So I can just move that threshold up and down until I find the, the right point. Now if I go to my snare, and I don't need to do this for every instrument in the drum track, just basically my hi-hats, snare, even snare top in this case. So I'm going to take, set my threshold there, and now go to my hi-hats. And hi-hats, perhaps you prefer to just lock it to a grid and have it set on eighths or sixteenths, or once again I can move it down and you can see it's very accurately highlighting all of the, uh, the hi-hat notes there. So now that I've done that, I can move over to our new feature here. So you can see this button is a new addition in Cubase 6. So if I click on that button, I get this new uh, quantize panel. So this quantize panel enables me to do quite a few different things in terms of drum quantizing. So first of all, I've got hit point tracks and a priority column. So this allows me to say, or specify, which particular drum instrument I want to apply priority to come the quantize, um, or the quantization of the track. So I guess there's more beats in the hi-hat, so it makes more sense for me to prioritize the hi-hats, but you can see I can just have kick and snare on the same, I guess on the, on the same priority level. And then you can see I've got a range and offset, so basically that allows me to add variables in there in terms of the analysis of the slice and the actual slice itself. So now if I just, enlarge this, so move that out, see what happens now as I hit slice and you've got this new look in Cubase. So instantly all my different drum tracks are sliced. Now it enables me to go down to the quantize panel. Now don't forget it does have groove quantizing so I can actually bring other grooves and just drag and drop other grooves into this section here but at the moment I want to just quantize it to 1 16. So immediately I'm going to go down and hit quantize and you can see that my drums have now moved into time. Now the other thing I need to pay attention to is phase. So if all of our drum tracks aren't sliced and moved at the same time, we start to get phase in our recording. So now I can set cross phase. So cross fades, which allow me to basically rule out the last sort of snippet of each track, and then when I hit play, you'll know that the drums are now Okay, so that's a very powerful new feature in Cubase 6, and that's um, drum editing.